Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison video between this Anchor 20 watt charger and the OEM Apple 20 watt charger. So they both have a 20 watt output, which is enough to fast charge an iPhone. This is an iPhone 13 Pro. And in order to fast charge it, you've gotta be outputting at least 20 watts. So this is the five watt charger that comes with some phones. It's got just standard USB uh, output. This is only capable of doing five watts. Now there's just quite a bit of size difference here and they both output the same power. So you can see here, here's what they look like up close and then around back, here's what they look like. Okay, so let's do some size comparisons. So that's about an inch, just a little over an inch and a half for the Apple. And the Anchor one is just a little bit over an inch, just an inch. Now let's do left to right right around another inch and a half, almost inch and three quarters. The anchor is right around an inch. So the anchor is about an inch cube. So here I got both of them plugged in. I'm gonna show you how you can charge your iPhone, a MacBook Air, and even an iPad with these chargers. So you do have to have a USB-C to lightning cable. If you wanna charge your, fast charge your iPhone with either one of these chargers. Okay, so I got my Klein tools. It's gonna to measure the output voltage and current of each one of these chargers. I've got this plugged into an iPhone 13 Pro that's pretty low on charge. And right now, the anchor is outputting 8.8 .8 at 2.16 amps. That's almost 20 watts. So in order for an iPhone to fast charge, it does have to be below 30%. If it's below 30% or above 80%, then it only gonna, these chargers will only output five volts, which is kind of a slower charge for iPhones. But when you're in, but when your battery's depleted, it will output almost nine volts. So right now the Apple product is discharging 8.83 volts at 2.16 amps. So it is fast charging this iPhone. Okay, so right now both of these will charge a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. Now they'll only charge it at 20 watts, but right now the anchor is outputting 8.82 at 2.14 amps going to the MacBook Air. And if we look at the wattage on the MacBook Air, it says it's being charged at 20 watts. Okay, so now let's plug this right into the Apple charger and see what it displays. And it comes up right away, 8.83 volts to 2.14 amps. Okay, so let's try it on this iPad Air. Again, let's try the Apple one first. So the Apple product's outputting 8.9 volts at 1.55 amps. Let's switch over to the anchor. Again, both of these will start out at five volts. Now this one's at 8.9 volts at 1.32 amps. That's for the anchor one. Okay, so let's try it on something that takes a little bit less charge here. I've got the Apple AirPods Pro. It's outputting, that's the anchor one, is outputting 4.97 volts at, at 0.3 amps. Let's switch it over to the Apple one. Okay, it's gonna ramp up a little bit. 5.12 volts at 0.31 amps for the Apple product. So here's the back of the Apple product. It says its output is nine volts, three amps. I'm sorry, five volts at three amps or nine volts at 2.22 amps. They both accept 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 or 60 Hertz. Now here's the Anchor product. Again, its output is five volts, three amps, or nine volts, 2.22 amps. So the Anchor product works very well. I have noticed when I am charging my MacBook Air for an extended period of time, it does get a little bit warm to the touch. Not too bad though. The Apple one, it did get just a little bit warm too, but nothing too bad either. So I hope this comparison video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.